And I think there's a lot of fear surrounding this, and certainly we've talked about West Nile virus mm -hmm. a lot in the medical community, and there are these occasional outbreaks. The reason a drought increases the risk for it is you, know, you have more standing water that's stagnant and yeah. places those, that mosquitoes those love Those rivers kind of dry up, leaving little pools all over the place and lots of mosquitoes. So this is something that you have to be aware of. Of course, people will ask, how does a mosquito cause a problem like this? Every time a mosquito bites you, it's essentially taking blood from you. And it's also injecting some of its own saliva. And your body's reaction to that saliva is why you get that really red raised bump, because your body is reacting to that saliva. But mosquitoes, when they're taking your blood and then going to bite someone else, can actually transmit illnesses. And when it comes to the West Nile virus, it's thought that a mosquito might land on a bird that carries the virus. Get the virus from the bird, and then it lands on your arm, bites you, and that's how it can be transmitted. So the first thing I want to emphasize is prevention tips. You do want to use repellent products as much as possible. Now, we recommend DEET because it gives you the best protection. Certainly, the other thing is eliminate standing water around your home. You may think that little area is so benign, but Mosquitoes don't need much, and that little pool area could be the problem. You know, you want to minimize the amount of exposed skin. What I do in, if I'm concerned, I'm around mosquitoes, I actually will wear clothing that's very lightweight but covers my arms and my legs so you use as little DEET as possible to repel those mosquitoes. And we actually have the Director of Emergency Services for Baylor Healthcare in Dallas, Dr. Nick Zinarosa, on the phone. Dr. Zinarosa, thanks so much for joining us. This is obviously something that's scary in your area, but people are fearful across the country. Thank you, Dr. Travis. Yes, we've seen more than uh, 300 reported cases of West Nile virus this year alone in Texas. A majority of these cases are concentrated in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and unfortunately, at least seven to nine deaths have been attributed to this epidemic. Um, down there, what are you trying to tell people in terms of when to worry, when to go ahead and get checked out in the ER? Because obviously, a cold is still a cold, uh, but I know, I know how times like this are. You, you get a cold and you think, oh my gosh, could this be West Nile virus? Yeah, unfortunately, there is no treatment for West Nile virus. We, we offer supportive care only. Most people get better just with uh, strong you know, hydration and uh, medicines such as a Motrin or a Tylenol uh, for the symptoms of a viral illness. So the most important thing people can do, Dr. Zinros, I think you agree with me, is uh, prevention, prevention, prevention. Absolutely. A lot of our communities in the area are fogging for mosquitoes in the evening, and the recommendation is to stay indoors. And if you have to be outdoors to do exactly like you said, Dr. Travis, and that is to dress appropriately and use insect repellents. Thank you, Dr. Zenroso, for joining us. We really appreciate it.